Wood Recyclers represents around about 75% of the total wood market. Uh, and in the UK, we recycle around about 5 million tonnes a year of wood. So we're quite a significant sector. Uh, in addition to that, we are supplying around about 1% of the UK's energy. So uh, an important part of the UK's energy security. Some of the challenges we face are particularly around regulation. There's more and more regulation coming into the industry generally, uh, but particularly around our sector relating to fire prevention plans and waste wood classification. So those are the two big topics. From our perspective, we are working, I think, very well now with the Environment Agency. So we're positively engaging with them and working through actually how do we get to a sensible and pragmatic solution around waste wood classification and in particular avoiding uh, hazardous waste going to the wrong destinations. Well, RDF for me actually breaks into two areas. You have RDF and SRF, so they're two separate and distinct markets. So RDF into the energy from waste sector, CHP sectors into Scandinavia and uh, Europe. Whereas SRF is much more into the cement industry. And actually SRF presents a much greater opportunity for uh, market size and for actually for better value. Uh, there are a lot of challenges obviously around Brexit and the uncertainty that brings and uh, people kind of sitting back on investment decisions. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, how do we really develop those markets outside of Europe? So it brings some challenges, but it also brings some opportunities. I think the other significant, uh, you can see it as a threat and an opportunity, uh, is China's National Sword Initiative, whereby they're going to be closing their borders on the 1st of January to all post-consumer plastics and indeed lower grades of paper as well. At the moment, Europe, including the UK, exports around about 7 million tonnes a year of, of plastics and uh, mixed quality paper across the Chinese market, which we now have to find solutions for uh, at a European level certainly so options at the moment are quite limited it's going to take some time for the market to rebalance and to find those solutions so that's a big challenge for us.